It's important to remember the big ideas around squares and square roots. They are opposites of each other. What the square root does is it takes a area. We start with our area and we are finding side length by square rooting. Squaring starts with side length and we are going to take squares and make squares which gives us area. Okay, so one way we, we find area, squaring finds area, square rooting finds side length. What we're going to do is we're going to look at non-perfect squares on a grid. So normally if we draw squares nice, nicely lined up with the grid lines, we can make our perfect square squares. So for example, 2 squared is 4. We can make a nice perfect square like that. But we can make non-perfect squares by drawing them at an angle. And what we're going to do first is just practice finding out the areas of these non-perfect squares. So the way I've drawn them, these are actually squares. If you take a look at them, they do look like squares. The challenge is to find the area of, the, of that square. Once we have area, we can square root to find side length. So to find area of these squares, we first need to make sure we rec remember the area of a triangle. It's going to be base times height divided by 2. So if I just highlight this triangle here, that's a right triangle. So we have our base. We can count our base 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We can count our height 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're going to do 6 times 6, but because it's only a half of square, we only want to take half of that. So 6 times 6 will give us a rectangle, but we really only want half of this to get, a, to get the triangle. So 6 times 6 is 36. 36 divided by 2 works out to be 18 squares. So we know that that's going to be 18 squares. The nice thing about the one, the first one we've drawn is that these are, all these triangles are exactly the same. So I'm going to say that's 18. That one's 18. So we're just getting the triangles, four triangles that are all 18 squares. So we can be fairly confident then that the total area So the total area of that non-perfect square is going to be 18 plus 18 plus 18 plus 18. Okay, if we add that up on our calculator, again, make sure you're practicing adding that up. That's going to be 72 squares in total. Now that's definitely a square, but we know that 72 is not a perfect square. If I were to kind of turn it on it from its side, and try to line it up with the grid lines, it won't fit nicely onto the grid lines because it's this edge length is not a perfect square. It's not a whole number length anymore. But we do have exactly 72 squares that make that up. Now the one thing we could do, although it didn't ask us right yet, is we can find the side length by square rooting. So area is 72, the side length is going to be square root 72, which works out to be, and I need my calculator for this, because it's not a perfect square, I get 8.487 or 49. 